I hope you guys are doing good. Now, uh, today, uh, in this video, I'm going to start section 3.7 from the book. 3.7. This is basically the optimization problem. So optimization. Optimization is basically we will be doing the minimization or maximization again, but we will see some uh, word problems. Okay. So let's start with one example. Uh, example number one. Okay, let us see the first example. Okay, and this example Find the two positive numbers whose product is 768. This is the product. Okay 768 and the sum of the first number plus three times the second number is minimum Okay, since you want to find out the two positive numbers, let us suppose that the numbers are numbers are x and y so you want to find out the value of x and y okay so how to find out the value of x and y there is let us write down what is given there so what it says is the product is x times the y is 768 right and what do you want to minimize you want to minimize the sum let's say s equals to x plus 3 times y you want to minimize this right so you want to minimize minimize it because it says the sum of the first plus the three times the second is minimum now if you remember from the uh, extra finding the extreme values what do we do is we find out the first derivative right and then we set that equals to zero we find the critical numbers and then find the second derivative plug in the critical numbers on the second derivative that will give you minimum or maximum but here <coughs> here the problem is here the problem is here we want to minimize s but the s has both x and y so we want to make just only one variable just either x only or y only how do i do that use the first given uh, information for that so let us do that so if you solve for y what do you get y equals to 768 over x right that's what you get because if you divide by x on both sides you get y equals to 768 over x now what you do is you can write s equals to x plus 3 times 768 over x you see that okay now uh, what you can do here is now we want to minimize this function so how do i how do i minimize is you find out s prime what is s prime s prime is the derivative of x is one plus what is uh, three times 768 the derivative of x is one plus three times 768 is 2304 2304 divided by x and then you need to find out the derivative of that one right so do you remember what is the derivative of x what you do is you move this to the top so it will be 1 plus 2304 and then so what you do is it you it will be moved to the top right it will be like x to the negative 1 and then you find out the prime because we don't have to use the quotient rule why because the top is just a number right so what you can do is you can move this to the top that will be x to the negative one and find the derivative of that x only because this constant you can pull that out right so what happens is it will be negative one x to the negative two right that will become negative one over x squared so basically it will become x square and then negative one right so this will become negative so that of that the next step is you f find the critical numbers right so set s prime equals to zero implies implies one minus 2304 over x square equals to zero right so how do i solve this is add this quantity on both sides what happened is one equals to 2304 over x square now our goal is to solve for x right let's do the cross multiplication or you can flip on both sides or multiply by x square on both sides if you multiply by x square 
and then multiply by x square on both sides you cancel this x square and x square so basically what you got is x square equals to 2304 now you need to take the square root right so when you take the square root you consider only the positive side because the question says two positive numbers right so you want to do find the square root of um, square root of 2304 what you get is 48 so 48 that's what you got so x is 48 now we want to find out y as well right so how do I find out y so y will be 768 over 48 right but that is 16 so we got x is 48 and then y is 16 right so but we haven't checked whether it minimizes the sum or not right because what it says is find the two positive numbers we we, we found two positive numbers 48 and 16 whose product is 768 if you multiply these two you'll get 768 and the sum of the first plus the three times the second is minimum we need to check for the minimum okay so to check for the minimum we find out s double prime what is s double prime is the derivative of 1 is 0 minus 2304 over x square and then you do the derivative prime right so how do I find out the derivative again so what you do is you move that to the top it will become x to the negative 2 and then you find out the prime but 2304 stays the same because this is a number you don't you don't have to use quotient rule here so what do you get is negative 2 x to the negative 2 minus 1 right so that will become negative 2 divided by x to the third so what you get basically is s double prime equals to negative 2304 times negative 2 over x to the third right so if you multiply what do you get it will it will be 4608 over x to the third now i want to check at x equals to uh, 48 at x equals to 48 what do you get s double prime is positive or negative so s double prime is positive right if you if you plug in that basically you will get you don't need to find out the number 0 0.041 which is positive right positive means so the s the function s or the sum is minimum this implies sum is the so if you are asked to find out the minimum value as well then what we would you do is you plug in x equals to 48 and y equals to 16 so 16 times 3 is 48 plus 48 will be 96 right so s will be 96 but it, the question did not ask so we will do the second example all right let us look at the second example it is similar to the one we just did so what it says is find the length and width of a rectangle let us make a rectangle there you want to find out the length and width let's say length is x and width is y you can you can assume l and w that's perfectly fine what it says is the area is 36 square feet and the perimeter is minimum so we need to find we need to know the uh, formula for area and the perimeter okay if this is x that will be x as well right if this is y this will be y as well right so what it says is area is 36 so you can write x times y equals to 36 we assume the length is length is x and the width is width is y that's what we are assuming here right so x times y is 36 it is given and then what it says is perimeter what is the formula for the perimeter perimeter is basically the sum of the sides right so it is x plus y plus x plus y so that will be 2x plus 2y so 2x plus 2y again you want to minimize the function p like we were minimizing the function s here right so how do you do that is solve the first one for uh, y 36 over x and plug in that here so p is basically 2x plus 2 times 36 over x you see that so what you get is basically uh, basically 2x plus 72 over x okay so again same steps find out the p prime that is 2 
minus 72 over x squared. Why is that? Why the derivative is negative here? Because 72 times, you can write 72 times 1 over x, right? So similar to the previous one, 1 over x is x to the negative 1. And if you find the derivative, you will get, uh, if you find the derivative of that, you will get negative 1 x to the negative 2, right? And negative 1 over x squared, that makes negative 72 over x squared. And to find out the critical value, what you do, you set that equals to 0, right? If you set that equals to 0, you will get... Uh, 2 minus 72 over x square equals to 0, right? Now add this to both sides, you will get 2 equals to 72 over x square. Multiply by x square on both sides. What do you get? Is 2x square equals to 72, right? You cancel this and that. So divide by 2 will give you uh, x square equals to x squared equals to 36. So what is x? x will be either positive 6 or negative 6, but x is the length, so it cannot be negative, right? So x is 6. What will be y though? So therefore, y will be y will be 36 over 6 from, from here, right? And plug in that, that will be 6 as well. So you got x equals to 6 and y equals to 6. But still, we are not done because it says we need to find the this x and y value makes the perimeter minimum. So how do I check whether it is minimum or maximum? You find out the second derivative, right? If you do the second derivative, what do you get? Second derivative will be, uh, you find out the second derivative here, right? Here. So 0, the derivative of 2 is 0 minus 72 times, what is the derivative of 1 over x squared? It is like x to the negative 2 derivative of that, right? So what you get is basically p double prime equals to negative 72 times negative 2 times x to the negative 3, right? So basically it gives you 144 divided by x to the cube, right? Now we want to check whether at x equals to 6 the perimeter is maximum or minimum. What is the value of p double prime? That will be 144 divided by 6 to the third. 36 times 6 is 216, I think, right? So 36 times 6. Yes. So uh, what? how much is that? 144 divided by 216 is equals to 0.66. So 0 0.66, right? So that means, therefore, hence, P is minimum at x equals to 6. That's what we got, which is the complete solution of this problem, okay? Let us do another example. A farmer wishes to fence a rectangular field where the fourth side is a river and will not need fence. If the area to be covered is 405,000 square meter, find the dimension so that he needs least amount of fencing. Meaning that he needs a, he want to fence the given area with least amount of fencing, right? Let us suppose that this is x so this will be x this is y that will be y but you don't need fencing because there is a river on that side okay so let's say the uh, length is length is x and width is y then what it says is the area to be covered is 405,000 that means x times the y equals to 405,000 and what he needs to minimize is the sum of the length and width right that will be the let's say the P is equals to again uh, 2x plus just y because he doesn't need fencing and that he wants to use the minimum of the fencing wire okay that's what we want to minimize this one as before you solve the first one you get y equals to 
thousand divided by x, right? So what you do is you plug in there two x plus four hundred five thousand divided by x. Now you want to find out the derivative again, the exactly the same procedure two minus four hundred uh, four hundred five thousand. This is 405,000 divided by x square. Again, how? Because you need to move this to the top and then x to the negative. So you will have 405,000 times x to the negative 1 and then you find out the prime of that, right? So what will become is negative 1 x to the negative 2. That is negative 1 over x square. That's how I got plus change to minus there, right? So to find out the uh, the critical numbers what do you do set p prime equals to zero this implies two equals to exactly the same process okay divide by x square now multiply both sides by x square you cancel that and that and then you will get x square here right so to get is x square equals to four hundred five thousand divide by two so what do you get? 20, 25, 20, 20, 25, 0, 0. That's what you get. So if you take the square root, so this implies x equals to 450. That's what you got for x. So what will be y then? Then uh, this is x value, right? And then the y value will be how much is that? 405,000 divided by x is 450. This will give you 900. Okay. But again, we are not done, right? Although we find out x and y, that is basically y. Although we find out x and y, we need to check whether this will minimize the perimeter, okay? Perimeter of the three sides. So to do that, you need to find out the double prime of P, right? So what will be the P double prime then? So you find out the derivative of this one. So it will be 0 minus 405,000 times. How much is the derivative of 1 over x squared? You need to move this to the top, right? And then do x to the negative 2 prime. That will be negative 2 over x to the third exactly the same way that we did before so this will give you uh, how much would that be it will be 405,000 times negative 405,000 times negative 2 will be uh, how much would that be that would be 810,000 810,000 divided by x to the third right so at x equals to 4500 we will get p double prime will be 810,000 divided by 450 to the third which will give you positive number right because I don't know how much is that and you don't need to know that too so this is positive that's the only sign that we are uh, interested to hence hence the perimeter p is minimum when uh, the x or the width is 450 and then y is basically 450 uh, what do we get y y is 900 that's the end of this solution